to. Oh, 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 I saw you. Give, come here. Get in my pocket. Although I don't know how. Okay, this is kind of weird. I don't know how the all the things in her pockets or sack are not making making a lot of noise. Peoples, please kindly don't be taking the spare key from the house. The side doorway is only to be unbarred in case of burke infestation, fires, or the removal of ma ma wait, ma ma cases? Yeah. Head of house staff. Does it go to this door? It goes to this door! Oh, I know where this is. Hey, where'd your girlfriend go? Oh, there she is. She's stuck on the wall. Aren't you gonna help her? Asshole. You don't deserve her. Alright, let's continue looking around. I think that'll be our point of exit. And that is the bathroom, and it looks very stinky. Um, should I? No, I don't want to go up yet, because they're still over there. And I also don't think I investigated over here yet. Hey, you want some of this? Hmm. What is that? Sausage. Yeah, I can see that. Smells different, though. Oh, that's because it's Burrick. Mm. Burrick? Hmm. You ought to give it a try. It's got garlic in it, too. Mm. Keeps the vampires away. Nah, that stuff is terrible. Plus, it'll give me gas. Yeah, well, it'll do that. Sure you don't want some? <laughs> I feel like some roasted garlic now. Keeps everybody away. Oh, no. Shut up. You don't need to be making a scene. Neither do you, sir. I'll sneak around you and steal your sausage. Give me that sausage. Give, give, give me. Give. Aww. I wanted the. <laughs> Just... Um. Well, I got the sausage. I'm going to nibble on it. Mmm, garlicky. Mm, lizardy. Aw, he took it with him into the wall. <laughs> Ooh, those are some nice earrings. Anything good on here? No. Ah, the kitchen. It sounds like a kitchen. Staff, please clean up your kind selves. Your, you mammies are not here now. Don't you mean your mammies are not here now? And if they were, damn it. They'd be working on their backs. Well, geez. Davy, head guard, and chief dog's... Dog's body? I am unaware of these terms, sir. I, I want to pick up the bread. And I'm eat the bread. Actually, I'll eat the deer leg. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Venison. That is one loud skibble. Skill it. Skill it. What the, what the hell is wrong with me? It's very loud, regardless. I thought I heard somebody. Is the guest book up here? I mean, who the hell would sign this? Guests and hostesses. Hostess. Lord Carey, Kara paid in cash. Lord Karen. Kara paid in cash. Oh, that's the girl that he paid. And then the, she paid to the madam. Master Eldrin. Sally paid in cash, lost a gold bracelet. Mr. Rothlin, Lauren and Bridget paid in goods, a fine thick carpet from the south. Mr. Rubuck, Stella spent the night, paid double, no problems. Scheduled customers, standing arrangements and accommodations. Mr. Druitt, Valeria, will require upper rear VIP suite as per his usual. The Colgan brothers, Kara and Sally paid in gold this time, no complaints about missing valuables. Mr. Clinton, really? Stella paid in cash, plus a box of fine cigars. I'm surprised he didn't throw in a saxophone. Okay, political humor, har har har. Continuing on. Healing oil in the broom, or the broom, the coat closet. All right, let's finish up down here, right across the way there, and then we'll make our way up. And then to the back of the house where the VIP suite is. Oh, is this actually the back door? Men, no scruff wear or muddy boots allowed in the main hall. Madam wants the place looking high class. No touching any of the working girls either, or my blade, or my blade, or by my blade, you'll lose something more precious than a week's pay. CPL Corporal Murphy? Is that what CPL means? Oh. That goes outside. I don't want to go outside. It's the opposite of what I want to do. All right, let's go upstairs.
All right, here's the stairs. There's no carpet on these stairs. Oh, hello. Hello, lady. I, I mean you no harm. Uh oh. Don't. Okay. Um. Did I already? Yeah, I came in through that room right there. Okay, perfect. That means I know where I am. That means I still got this guard to deal with. Someone there? Nope. I don't think there are any more patrolling guards on the second level. At least I didn't hear any or see any. <clears throat> Convoiting with the working girls, are we? It's a big no-no. Apparently. I wouldn't really no-no. Okay, so it looks like this door is the only one I have left. Uh, this is the hall key work on this? Where's the hall key? Yes, it does. Oh, it works. Oh. Looks like something moved. Nope, 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 oh. nope, nope. Uh, uh, uh. There it goes. It blows. Oh, guess it wasn't anything. I need to get some more sleep. Shut up. Uh, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Grip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoo, boy. How did you not see me, lady? You're gonna be a problem, aren't you? Sorry. Don't know who you are, but you're gonna be going right on top of this other body. This is my official back hall's body pile. It's growing. It's growing. All right, let's see what is around here. I guess these are all VIP rooms, and his is the rear room, so this should be the last one I go into. And this is a very strong lock. We're gonna be here all night. Oh, this isn't even a room. It's an office. Sealant potion. Let's uh, get that off of there. What do we have here? Drew it tonight. Remember to have the girls tidy the place. We really have to make a good impression this time. He seemed pleased when he last with when he left last week. Last week he left. He did. I prefer him to stay that way. Talk to Sally about her newest customer. Her com he complained twice now about missing valuables. She'll have to go if this is continues. From what Drew has told me, one of his associates should be able to take her off my hands, but I'd rather not have it come to that. She's a good girl, and she makes the customers come back for more. Stella behaved oddly last night when Drew was here. She kept sending me strange looks. It was as if she wanted to tell me something, but when I pressed her afterwards, she wouldn't admit to it. Does she know? That would be unfortunate. I hope for her own sake that she can keep her pretty nose out of this. Last night, Sally told me that one of her customers, the young Rothschild, had revealed to her that our good sheriff is planning on hanging the two Hammerites who were found guilty of trying to bribe a watch officer. How he came by this information, I don't know, but I suppose money gets you far. Mr. Rothschild is clearly concerned about our discretion. If only he knew how the sheriff spends his nights. I don't like this. What if Truett decides that he doesn't need my services anymore? What will happen to me then? I don't think it's unlikely that he may have to set an example in order to impress some of his political associates. If only I hadn't gotten into this mess. Maybe I should move first. Try to blackmail him. No, that would be too dangerous. I can't risk that. I'll have to trust him when he says that he needs me, and that he'd never dream of hurting me. I'd be so much easier if I didn't know all of this. Stella knows, I'm sure. I'll have to talk to her. Where do they find these tough boys? Yesterday, the new one, Braddock, welcomed Lord Karen by addressing him by name. Good evening, Lord Karen. I hope you have a good time. <laughs> that Karen sure is hot, ain't she? Wish it was May. Needless to say, Lord Karen was not amused. When I returned from the ladies' room last night, I found Drew searching my room. I'm not sure he was looking for my journal. Maybe I should create a fake one and let him find it, just to make him feel safe. This is not good. Maybe I should risk taking a look at that journal he keeps with him, just to see if he's become suspicious. Or I could have Stella do it. I don't think having the girl working under you do that is a good idea. Right. Anybody out in the hallway? No? Uh oh, I hear somebody. I hear somebody! 
It was faint, but I didn't know if they were going to get closer or not. Here's a room. Oh, 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 I see something. That was lucky. I normally don't see those because they're so small. Don't need any of it, but I'll take it nonetheless. Can always use more water arrows that I'll never use. What is that? Oh, it's just a brush. It was a glowing brush. It was lit very well. All right, back out to the main hallway. I think we're almost done here. See what? There he is. That's what I thought. Oh no 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 don't, don't stand there. <laughs> ah crap. Once he walks away, if he walks away. Okay, I'm gonna save it here, just in case I have to cut. As usual, it was nothing at all. Ah, what was that sound? That was oh. me, by the way. That's what that sound was. Huh? All right, he's out of the way. Put him in the broom closet. <sighs> Ooh, that looks promising. And here's the toilet. Okay. So it'd probably be a bad idea to come in through the front door. And it'd be a really bad idea to fall down there again. Thank you. Anything in there? Nothing. Oh, this is sick. I didn't even notice that at first. These are baby carriages. Or, you know what I mean, not carriages, but cribs. <gasps> Seedy little undertone. Help. Help. Huh? What was that? Let's try that again. Was it just because I tapped? I didn't mean to. <gasps> I definitely heard something. So she hears something anyway. Wonderful. Well, oh crap. Too much ale tonight. Okay. She just thinks she's drunk. Ah, there he is. The man of the hour. Hmm. Bit drafty in here. Bit drafty in here. You sound nothing like Truett. All right, I guess I can... Ooh, is that it right there? Oh, that did... Ah-ha. <clears throat> uh -huh. Truett's diary. Um, um, um. I <laughs> didn't mean to fall off. That was bad. That was very bad. Do I have an EMP grenade? I don't. Of course I don't. <laughs> He's just gonna walk around with no pants on! And I barely have anywhere to hide. Okay. <laughs> His shirt's half undone, or is that a robe of some sort? He's pantsless, either way. Come on, turn around. I opened the diary, but then I couldn't look in it. Come on, man. Why you gotta be like that? Thank you. <clears throat> Dealings with free traders this month. Received four adult males, three adult females, two children. The Sunnyport free traders gave me a test subject today. Some local merchant named Kadar who was cutting in on their profits. They'd been holding him for a while and heard I was looking for vagrants and street scum. He's malnourished and half dead, but that won't matter once Karis performs his miraculous transformation. Now what? Karis has returned this merchant to me in the form of one of those ghastly servants. I told him to keep them away from me, but he insists that I keep one at my home for a short period. I don't like this at all. I've had all I can stand. It's bad enough that I'm on pins and needles trying to keep my reputation clean now. I have this blasted servant following me around. Keeps moaning something that sounds like sire. I must admit, it's amusing, but it unnerves me at the same time. I've made up my mind. Tomorrow, I shall pack it off to the Grand Hotel. That's one less employee we'll have to pay, and the manager, Mr. Finkel, can deal with that incessant moaning. It's been quite a while since I've written here. How pleasant life has become since I began working with Brother Karras and his mechanists. The streets are free of filthy beggars for the first time anyone can remember, and everyone lauds me as the savior of the city. Only, it hasn't kept me so busy. I've been unable to record my thoughts. Only, it has kept me so busy. Wow, the exact opposite of what I said. I must begin to make this a priority. By the time I become barren, these pages will be needed for the publishing of my memoirs. 
I went to the bear pits with Lurin yesterday. Under cover, of course. The place really isn't what it used to be. When 520 gold pieces on Corwin's ranger. Not much rage about it, though, but seeing the condition of the other beasts, it couldn't lose. My men caught an adulterer near Shoalsgate this morning. There was an angry mob looking for him, and my men handled the situation by handing the man over to his pursuers. I think... I wasn't done reading that! Where, where did I leave off? There we go. My <laughs> And my men handled the situation by handing the man over to his pursuers. Completely justified. I think we've seen the last of him. Exemplary work by young Sta Staley. Remember to question Valeria about the girl, Stella. I suspect she may ha be on to me. If she is, I think Karis just might receive another specimen to transform. She's pretty, though. If it turns out she doesn't know the whole truth, maybe Finkel can use a new maid at the Grand. As my mom used to say, I have a heart of gold. Remember, hanging at noon in Cobbler Square. Party afterwards at Lord, Lord Cauldron's. Should be fun. Maybe I should invite Valeria. It would be quite, it would be good for her to get out uh, a bit, as long as she is uh, not seen with me. It should be fine. <sighs> okay, well, I read it. Can I get out of here now? Don't disturb true. Okay. There we go. How long are you going to be standing over there? Long enough? There Need to go. do this. There we go again. Get up there. Get up there. Get up there. <gasps> Did I make it? Am I going to fall off again? Probably. Please don't notice that I just opened hey. your book. What? <sighs> How could a man relax in such a place? I know. Should be Books magically opening? Okay. I put up with here. <sighs> Sorry, I was quiet there. I wanted to make sure that he hadn't actually seen me. Because if he does, then... then you failed! Oh, wait, what's that? Strange. <laughs> Show her I? whose boss I will. I, guess I've I could have this whole place torn finish. apart on a whim if I wanted to. <laughs> <It's just> a, <laughs> a lot of them. Duh. I don't think I'm supposed to be up here. Hmm. I want to see what's in there. Ah Jeez Louise. Is that a diamond drill? That's a diamond drill. Ooh, nice. Well, I thought I was going out the side door, but I'm already here, so... Yay! I'm in the backyard again. Or near the backyard, at least. Alright, I'll at least be going by the side door. All right, so we'll make our way to the front, and we're done. Good and done. Ah, you got yourself sorted out. Running around like freaks again. There we go. Ah, the moonlight. Well, how are my stats? Whoa, not even close. And there were two other secrets. Oh, well. Easy come, easy go. I got in and I got out in 31 minutes. That's not bad, considering that I, you know, suck. But anyways. Malak. My cousin has become a mechanist servant. He is some kind of slave now? I am afraid he has become far worse than a mere slave, Zaya. Come. I will show you.
This is the fate of all who would resist Truett. He is an evil man, Zaya. I cannot stop him. But you, you are destined to rid the city of this abomination. I have foreseen it. I must save Kedar, now that I know where he is. I can bring him here and we can remove the servant mask. Yes, bring Kedar here. The mask means death for most, but with your skill, there may yet be a way to save him. If there is even a chance, I have to try. Then you must seek your revenge on Truett. He must pay for this evil. Let's help Kadar first. We can deal with Truett later. You can mend the bone, cool the fever. You can repair the skin and restore the vigor. You can purify the blood and end the pain. But an unbroken body may house a broken soul. Let the words of Amorous guide you and heal body and soul alike. The teachings of Aelin the Pale, the Book of Amorous. Turns out that the book of maps I stole from the museum will come in handy after all. It had an old blueprint of the Grand Hotel where Kadar is being kept. Apparently the building is very old, but well maintained and considered a historical landmark of sorts. These days, it's owned by several of the city's richest citizens, including the illustrious Sheriff Truett. From what I hear, he's probably the least dangerous of all the investors, mainly crime lords and higher-ups on the Mechanist's VIP list. Now that he's in a position of power, Truett's playing with the big boys. I'll have to get inside and see if there are records for the servants in the hotel. The hotel seems to use a lot of them, and they all look the same. My only hope of locating Kadar is to find a record of when each servant was brought to the property, or interrogating someone who knows. The lobby is protected by two cameras, but it shouldn't be hard to find the disarm code lying around somewhere. After all, it's a hotel, not a bank. Once I find Kadar, I'll probably have to incapacitate him briefly until I can get him out. I anticipate that being the biggest problem, seeing how heavy he's probably going to be. Malak has given me another piece of elemental crystal, so anyone who gets in my way will find themselves on the wrong end of an arrow. I've come so far. Gadar, you will be free soon. Well, it's time to enter the Grand Hotel. The perimeter of the hotel is patrolled regularly. Your first goal is to find a way past the guards and break in. Kadar is being held inside, but you're not sure where, so you'll need to find out. You have to get Kadar out of there, alive. If what Malak tells you is true, he may not be able to leave on his own accord. Find a way to incapacitate him and carry him out with you. From what you've heard, the type of clientele this place draws are too rich for their own good. While you're there, rob the guests of at least 1350 in loot. Sounds good to me. I'm sure I can get more than that. And, you know, also save Kadar's life. Alright, what do we got? We got 1504. I have to remember that I got a note from Malak. Hmm. I got two EMP grenades. I hardly ever use them, but maybe I should get one more just in case. Um, I don't have any moss arrows. I will get two again, just in case. One arrows, there's six of them. I definitely don't want to kill anybody. Flash bombs I never use, so let's get a whole bunch of water arrows. Like always, just spend my money on water arrows. Looks good to me. Well, that's a welcome sight. There's a camera and two turrets. Fun. Very fun. Oh, hi. I thought there were no enemies in this. Hey, hey. You okay? Kind of cool. I'd like. I'd really like to pick up the radio. Hey, 